Imagine tiny probes to reduce the side effects of cancer treatment or clothing that can detect radiation. These and more are now one step closer thanks to work published by IPAS PhD student Chris Cownans. What we've done in this paper is develop a new kind of material that itself can measure ionising radiation. And you can turn this material into an optical fibre. Working with IPAS director Tanya Munro and theme leaders Heike ebendorf Heidepreem and Nigel Spooner, Chris was able to publish the findings of his work in a prestigious journal. It's a great example of how IPAS can boost the career of a young researcher. The way the dosimeter works is that the material itself accumulates information about the radiation which you can then read out using light. So then you can choose whether you read it out instantaneously in real time or whether you let it accumulate to give you a picture over a longer time period. So with this optical fibre we can look to measure the dose of radiation delivered to a tumour for example. I spent some time with Chris to get some insight into the story behind this paper and to take a look at some of the equipment he used. For that and more, head over to ipas.edu.au slash talking papers. So I did my experiments in a completely dark room, no lights or anything, completely by touch.